Coming on. Hello. The liquid lace. You're on mute, girl. We don't hear you if you're trying to say something. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm in the dark. You're good. My, you turn on your camera anyway? Okay, my, my camera's on. Yeah, my camera's on. Okay, so I just okay, have gotcha. one question. Hi, guys. You wait, guys wait, look wait, amazing. What's I your like name? Where are you from? What's your, hey, my name girl. is Danny. I live in Atlanta. Good. Okay. So you said Debbie? Bambi. Bambi. That's so cute. Okay. Bambi and you live in Atlanta. So mm -hmm. how'd you first see us, Bambi? Um, I've been watching you guys for a minute. Like what? Since 2022? Mm, maybe since like the beginning of February. Got you. Okay, cool. So what's your freaking question, girl? <laughs> okay, so I just wanted to ask one question. Okay, so I was seeing like on TikTok, there was somebody that posted this guy like with the name Eddie23 that was there um, in, the condo, in the condo or whatever. And um, I seen, I went to his Instagram and I looked on his Instagram and I seen that he had only been there for like a month span. And I do know you guys did like Airbnb. So is that guy, Eddie, is that, was he written the actual location for that month that he was there? No. That's a great question. No, uh, thank you for that question. I, I totally see why you would think that. But if you go and look at my testimonies, Eddie's one of like my clients. And when I like really, really do business with somebody on like my highest level, um, a lot of the times I fly my clients out to like a place. So you'll see a lot of clients that I like open my home up to. Um, they can come here, they can create content here. We mastermind together. Like that's just how it is. I'm a very, you know, inviting person, if that makes sense. Okay, and then he does like kind of like the same things that you're into and stuff like that. Like no, he, you're like no, his no. mentor. No, 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 no. I just gave him some uh, consulting. So I really like. We don't do anything similar. He's in like the credit game. I'm not in like the, the credit world. So um, I just helped ta taught him how he can like help more people, and that was pretty much it. And you know, he's still implementing those strategies and going through. Um, he was one of my biggest case studies. Um, got him up to the point where he made about a hundred thousand in uh, thirty days. So it was really, really cool, really awesome. And if anybody wants to go and look at like my testimonies, you can go to my Instagram and kind of see my testimonials. He'll be probably like five of those clips. Okay, all right. So how does everybody feel last night when you guys? I mean, how does everybody feel tonight? Like when you guys got off live last night? Um, did you guys like you know have a discussion? Um, because I know last night you guys did discuss something um, that was important to you guys, which I fully understand. Um, so when you guys got off last night, did you guys discuss anything further? Did you guys talk I mean, about I it? Like, I feel like we have a discussion every day when we get off the live. Like we're always discussing things. So how to be better, how to how to do things and how to present and things like that. What do you guys discuss when you guys are not on live? Um, like when we're not here. Like, we're not we're not aligned. Like I think that different things can be miscommunication, gaining clarity. I think you should always be like discussing things, whether it's goals, whether it's aspirations, whether it's you know issues, like whether it's areas of improvement. Like I, I think that the more people communicate, the more successful they'll be. That's just my two cents. Okay, I like that. That's dope. <laughs> okay. Um let me see, because I didn't have too many questions. I really only have one, but now I'm here. I'm like, let me get them all out. <laughs> um, yep. Okay. Um, so what's the day-to-day -day for you guys? So what are the ladies doing when you're out moving around and you're handling your business? Oh, wait. Are you asking the ladies, you said? Um, if anybody, what does it look like for a day-to-day -day for you guys? When you guys, when Sean's out handling business, what does it look like for the ladies? First of all, I just want to say I'm gonna let them go, but I, I don't go anywhere. I'm like always handling business at, at like home. Like I, I'm, I'm very boring. Like I don't really go anywhere. <laughs> I hate actually being places because I like to produce. I'm trying to 10x my life right now, so I just put in like a lot of work. But go ahead. Babe. Um. So I have like a morning meeting with my team, 
And then I basically call a lot of people. There's a lot of people that are, you know, requesting to, you know, work with me and also get my services. So just basically reaching out to those people, seeing if they're like fit, because I'm not really, I can't help everyone. Um, like right now in terms of finances and stuff, I can give them game, I can give them free game, but in terms of like actually helping them with services, some people need to get to a certain point. So, you know, I'm just like making sure that we're a good fit and then basically setting um, appointments with people and then having those appointments as well. Okay, I love it. And Shanice? Um, just a basic Navy lifestyle. Um, we work out, uh, I miss some patients, um, trainings, administrative work, stuff like that. Okay, I like it. Um, okay, so Olivia, you said you contact your team and you give um, advice and game to people. What's some of the game that you would give out for free right now? Okay, so um, like for example, like yesterday, I had a girl, or today, I had a hairdresser, I have a hairdresser, right? And right now she's like in the process of, she wants to pay less in taxes because she pays a lot in taxes. Um, and then I was saying that she runs her business and she doesn't have an LLC. So I was saying, open an LLC. When you open an LLC, then you'll be able to like actually get business credit. That will help you because it will, it will- So she's a hairdresser your, without an LLC? Say that again? She's a hairdresser without an LLC and you're like guy her in. Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. So I was telling her first make an LLC and then go ahead and also get business credit. I actually recommended her to get the Amex business platinum or the Amex platinum personal side. So she got so that. So if she doesn't have a good credit score, if she doesn't have a good credit score, because she doesn't even have an LLC, right? So she would start an LLC and then if she doesn't have a good credit score, how would she qualify for the Amex? She does have a good, she has like a over 700 credit score. So, so she was able to get approved. So I, she, she got that already. And then I told her to actually get an LLC for her business so she can write off more things as a business and also get an Amex business platinum so that she can make sure that her business is financially like well because what will happen is she will get access to more funding and she can open more businesses because she doesn't want to be a hairdresser for the rest of her life. I know that that's her goal. She wants to invest in like real estate, Airbnb, all that stuff. So I was like, you need funding for that. So if you want to get that funding, you should start with building your credit now. Open the LLC, get the business credit card, and then they will see you have good financial habits within your business. They will give you access to more funding. You'll be able to fund more business projects from there on. So what about a person? So like the advice that you guys are giving out, you say free advice, free advice, but is that free advice only to people who have that 700 credit score? And if no. so, do you Okay, so so what would be something for free so, for yeah, advice? For the most part, for the for most me. part, it is. Yes, so yeah, okay. Sure. So look, if a person has a really part, low credit score, could they do anything yeah. with you guys? Yeah, one thousand percent. The number one thing is wanna. I'm all about delivery, and I would never want to like point somebody to like the direction right. If you have bad credit, the number one thing you should be doing is getting like your get, like your credit right, right? Mm -hmm. Um. So that's the number one thing. It just makes everything a lot easier. Trust me, from somebody that did it the hard way. Um, if I had known about credit and like done all that stuff, I'd probably would be like 10x the level that I'm at right now. So number one thing I suggest and is like if you don't have a great credit score, get a great credit score before you start your entrepreneurial journey. And I think any entrepreneur who's achieved massive success will like tell you that. Okay. All right. So last night's live. Um, Shanice, how are you feeling about today? A whole new day, different start. You feeling good? Yes, ma'am. I am. All right. So how did you feel about last night um, after you guys talked about everything? Because um, it did seem to get a little bit heated last night and everything. So how do you feel about the conversation of last night? Um, I feel good. Uh, all it takes is, you know, communication. Communication? Okay. Um, so what do you think that were some things that weren't communicated last night that kind of got to that point? Cause Sean, I love you, but you were you were lit last night. Uh, I felt like you were a little lit last night. But what are some things that you felt like weren't communicated that got to that point? 
Um, of course, I did not flow uh, my love any power, and uh, I interpreted the question the, in the wrong sense. Do you feel like you interpreted the question in the wrong sense, or more so um, you were guided to kind of answer it in that way? I'm sorry, what? Do you feel like you took it, like you misinterpreted what the woman was asking? Because I, I don't think that you misinterpreted, well, my perspective, I don't think that you misinterpreted what she was asking. I mm -hmm. think that it was just kind of like maybe you were guided in that, like the question was asked in that way to kind of make you answer that way. Yeah, because she said speak, I mean, um, like think broader. And when I think broader, that's, I was Not just thinking about your king that's next to you, it's thinking about in a bigger aspect. Correct. Okay, I love it. I love it. Okay, my queens and queens. All right, that's all I wanted. And I wanted to talk about business too. Sean, I got one other question and I'm done. I promise y'all, y'all. I'm gonna let them go. Um, why when people get on live, you leave the floor open for them to ask these crazy questions instead of when you get on live, you know, you the first question is like I know you guys always ask what's your business at the end of the callers, um, call or whatever so why don't you ask like if this is really about business and this is based off business why aren't these business questions asked within the beginning of these calls versus people going into these crazy questions about your personal life and what you're doing yeah because we we like to give people the freedom to ask whatever they want i don't want to like sit up here and funnel it only towards business questions if they don't want to ask business questions and take advantage of the opportunity that they have that's okay we have plenty of other people that have taken very much so advantage for the advice that I've given him um, and completely changed their business like in their lives with it. But you don't think it's like something that's controversial just to leave the floor so open for people to be in your business? Because yeah. like well, people screen record you saying one thing and then we're yeah. humans. So I'm we're humans. I'm not saying that, you know, there's anything, but we're humans. So people screen record you saying one thing, people screen record you saying another because that floor has been open for those questions to be asked and they're repetitively asked. and then they're asked in different ways. So I'm yeah, I mean, I think a lot of I think a lot of this stuff is like a setup. Like, I feel like people purposely try to like divide us. I feel like people honestly, I feel like most people won't really be happy. On like people app. mad at me right now. They mad at me. People on this app honestly won't be happy until they see us like break up. Like the only thing people some people, not all, because there's a lot of great positive people. But there's like I would say like 10 percent of the people, maybe even more. That's just like want to break us up which is kind of crazy because you know like if you guys like olivia and like shanice i don't understand why people can't respect their choice on who they choose to be with um but you know to each their own you know sometimes that's, that's just kind of like how people are you know we like to destroy things in the world um and for me i've never been able to run i, I never been one to run from that and i feel like it like if something outside can like destroy what you have then it wasn't really that real to begin with mm. Okay, okay. I just think sometimes, um, from what I be watching as well, I just think sometimes it's just like, um, it's almost like watching Trump or Kanye. Like, I don't know, like, you be you you may have a point or you may have a way that you want to get it off, but you, you kind of go about it a different way. So I think that's more so what the viewers are on versus them, um, you know, just being upset or not wanting to support Shanice or Olivia. Yeah, I'm with you. Okay, all right. Well, that was all for me. You got a business? Go um, got I a do business. have a business. Yes, I do. What kind of business? So I'm doing a um an actual line that I haven't released yet. The launch date is May first. What kind of business? Um, it's a it's a product business. Okay. Well, well, what do you do? Um, so right now I can't disclose the details because I'm going to do something a little bit different that has been done before. So I'm working with a couple of manufacturing productions. Um, I'm working with Pravada as far as manufacturing productions. Um, so I haven't fully released everything, but I also have a trucking company. Right, so, so you I got, the, you got the liquid lace. I'm guessing you got a wig business. Is that correct? No. Oh, okay. What kind of business you got? Um, so I have a product. Sean, what kind of business you got? Because I, I got on here last time and asked you about this. Great, this is a great, this is a great question. So again, I'm a success coach and a business consultant. I'm glad that you asked because today was our, honestly like a really special day for me. So I've had a, a, several people hit me up today and they said, hey, I got an email from Grant Carnot. And like he was like, 
telling <laughs> pretty much like promoting me as like a business consultant. Um, just not not necessarily promoting me, but talking about like some of the, the success that I've been able to achieve. And mm -hmm. for me, that was like a very full circle moment because like anybody that knows me knows that like three years ago, I was legit sleeping in my car. Mm -hmm. And to have the attention and to be a case study of one of the most influential billionaires um, is truly, 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 truly like uh, Just meant a lot. So, um, with that being Has said, giving was... you any backlash? Has Cordon giving you any backlash for getting on his platform and doing this? Nah, nah, nah. I don't think so. I mean, if you if you think Grant Cardone's gonna give me backlash, you should go <laughs> check out his latest Instagram post. <laughs> okay. So what 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 is what is he on? You should go look at his latest Instagram post, and then it'll tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> okay. All right. Her. All right, well, I'm done today. Y'all have a good night. Yeah, Thanks for so having me on. I appreciate you having me. This is my second know. time on here, so. Yeah. Yeah, have somebody's, uh, somebody's, uh, oh, somebody's saying congrats, congrats. I appreciate it. <laughs> Listen, guys, uh, you know, big things come in, guys. We want to give you guys legit strategy. I know I get a lot of hate. One of these days, you guys call me crazy, but one of these days, I'm going to you pay Grant Cardone a lot of money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send him a six figure check. And we're going to do a one on one consultation on TikTok live mm -hmm. in front of 50, 100,000 people. That's that's going to happen. That's going to be real. You guys are going to get to see a twenty five thousand dollar conversation with a billionaire. And I hope that you guys come with notes and hopefully you guys learn this. You know, like I said, we're all about providing value to you guys. Right. I'm a meeting that I'm paying, you know, twenty five thousand dollars for. We're going to do it live right here in front of all you guys for all you guys to see. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be asking them questions about business, asking them questions about life, asking them questions about how I can get to the next level. And hopefully you guys find value out of that. It's something that is going to happen like that, I promise you. And it's sooner than you think. So, Elliot, if you're watching this, Chris, if you're watching this, Eddie, if you're watching this, just get ready because that's going to be a thing. Um, we want Grant, right? Yes. We want Grant. We want Grant. <laughs> all right, one-on-one. -on -one. So, with that being said, um, I appreciate you guys so much, man. You know, I don't claim to be perfect. We're not perfect. None of us are perfect, but we are here to help you guys, man. Uh, so that kind of brings me to the point. If you guys do have a 700 plus credit score um, and you guys want to actually add strategy, right, to your life so that you can make an extra 10 to 15,000 a month, every day we give you guys free game. DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore T underscore Adams. If you got a 700 plus credit score, give me free game. Um, on Instagram, Sean underscore Taylor Scratters is the one with the blue check. And I'll personally um, t t teach you for free how to make ten to $15,000 a month. I'll never ask you for money online. I'll never, I'll never, you know, ask you for your credit card or anything like that. Literally, we just want to give you that strategy so that you guys can take care of your family, take care of your church, take care of your community. Yeah. Why are we doing this? You know, true. I always say true wealth isn't about money. It's about impact on people. Um, today was a really big highlight for myself being shouted out by, you know, somebody I've looked up to for 10 years. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Uh, with that being said, you know, we want to take that knowledge and give it to you guys, man. So if you guys are watching this and you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram free game and I'll teach you for free how to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. And for my fellas out there, right, if you're looking to completely change your life around, I promise you, I'm legit. If you don't believe me, look at the people that kind of like talk about me. I'm not perfect, but I'm just a little bit further longer in my journey than most people. Uh, you want to like have massive success. If you guys, if you're watching this and you have a seven hundred plus credit score, you don't want to just make ten to fifteen thousand a month. You want to make ten to fifteen thousand a week, right? Uh, and you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, mentor, and I'll personally reach out to you and see if uh, my mentorship is a good fit for you, right? And it's only for people that are really trying to have massive, 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 massive levels of success. Everybody else, if you're just like, hey, I just want to, you know, take care of my parents, whatever. I just want to make 10 to 15,000 a month. Just DM me if you got a 700 plus credit score on Instagram, free game. All right. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys so much, man. I appreciate you guys, your transparency and everything. Just go ahead and um, let's get the next caller up here. <laughs> hmm. Do, don't you know this person? I feel like you. Oh yeah, I know Ashley. Yes, 
Ashley. I don't know her like that, but like, I think she's friends with her. I know that's oh. right. Hi, Ashley. Hey, you guys. I've been waiting on here. Hi. Turn my Wait, camera can you on. turn your camera on? Is it on? Is this thing on? Sorry, y'all. I was really just laid up. <laughs> yeah, no, I. Okay, now it is. Hey, he looks so cozy. <laughs> I was. I just did my skincare routine. Excuse how I'm looking. Love it. I'm like, I'll be on here late. It's, it's glowing. I love it. Um, What's your name? Where are you from? I kind of already know where you're from. My name is <laughs> Ashley. I'm from the beautiful Los Angeles, California. And love it. I'm you guys. Oh, what he say? Los Angeles is a cesspool. It's disgusting. It's dirty. San Diego is not any better. Hopefully, you can cure that homelessness down there. Homelessness, L.A. San Diego, come it's on, come cool. on. No, no, Bro, no, no. The no, homeless no. got a whole. The homeless people got a whole military up there. Like they got military formations up there. I like, lived in San Diego. About. It was like, ooh, oh my goodness. Bro, this is literally not a debate. San Diego versus L.A. for the homeless people. Come on, like this is literally not a debate. Okay, they could. They're close. No. Whatever. <laughs> What's up, though? What's up? Um. So my first question is: I know that Shanice is active duty Navy. Hey, girl, I'm a veteran. Um, I was stationed in Japan too and San Diego. So yes get where you're coming from a lot of the time and i know sean you are um ex-military so i know part of your mission is like basically saving the world not being like sarcastic but you know just to round it up saving the world <laughs> is do you guys have any plans for military or helping or extending any information for military because i know there are yeah, a lot of yeah, yeah. issues I'm in the military that I'm, actually putting, I'm actually putting a program together i'm so glad that you said that if you guys are, I want to help military members who have less than a year um, left on their contracts transition, have a smooth transition. I know a lot of military members struggle with that. So I'm putting together a program right now as we speak, literally it's being wrapped up uh, and it'll be ready um, for military members to replace their income in 90 days or less so that they can have a smooth transition. That's gonna actually be one of my number one uh, problems that I tackle is helping military members who wanna transition. Um, I think the military is changing. I don't think there's anything bad with it, but I know that some people kind of need help transitioning into the real world. So I wanna make sure we're setting people up for success. If you guys are watching this and you are a military member and you wanna like, hey, know how to like replace your income. And I'm not talking about disability or whatever that stuff is. I'm talking about legitimate strategy to replace your income in 90 days so you can have a smooth transition. Please DM me and say, military, I have something incredibly special just for you. If you're watching this and you're a military veteran and you're about to get out in a year or two and you're a little nervous, you're a little scared, and you want to come up with a plan, please DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore Tim underscore Adam, just to want to blue check. DM me, military. I know what it's like. I was there. I know exactly what you're going through. I want to give you strategy. I'm not going to ask you for a credit card. I'm not going to ask you for anything. I just want to give you legitimate strategy so that you can literally transition with confidence. That's actually the number one problem that I'm gonna be a back that I'm like working on dialing in. So if you guys are watching this and make sure you have, you know, your credit right, man. We're gonna like come up with a custom game plan for you, okay? So make sure you have great credit, man. It is number one thing I tell you when you get out the military. I know that first and fifteenth is nice, but when you transition, make sure everything's on point. What were you about to say today? You want know first one? Whoever says they know aqua form when they see it, that's funny. But um, I'm really glad to hear that because the military is a big, big thing for me. I feel like there's a lot of issues that civilians wouldn't be privy to or wouldn't understand or, you know, just don't think exists there. And I feel like it's something that desperately needs to be brought to light mm -hmm. regarding transitioning, transitioning in, mental health issues, especially, Sinesh, you know, being a woman and a woman of color in the military. Girl, I'm just glad you made it and you're still glowing because it's an experience. <laughs> now, my other question that I had is that I remember on one live you said that, you know, most men of your caliber or above or, you know, a high value man, monogamy isn't going to work for them. I stand so when, as you should, you said it. 
So I was just wondering when it comes to many successful men that I'm aware of, for is like him 500, Poppy Chulo, um, Neo Davis, Grant Cardone, mm-hmm. they all have wives. Do you think that it just works for them specifically, or you think like they cheated? Like, because those yeah, are no, 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 no. I don't, I don't want to speak on their relationship. I've mm-hmm. been at tables with him 500. I, I've like shaken Grant Cardone's hand. I've like shaken all those guys' hands and personally like met them. Some of the most ethical and genuine guys ever. And um, I can't speak on their relationship if that's what clearly what they're doing works for them. I think the beauty of a woman is that it allows a man to like focus. Right. So it, having a woman in your life is always going to be a great thing. There's, it's their stability, right, which will allow you to focus on like your mission. I just know for me and this generation, I personally just think things are like a little bit differently. I think when Grant Cardone met Elena, social media did not exist. Like dating was totally different. Social media has completely revolutionized dating. Like it is like totally, totally different dating now than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago when a lot of these people met their wives. A lot of these people, Neil Davis especially, met his wife when he was literally like, before he ever became an entrepreneur. I think he got fired from like 19 different jobs. And I'm not speaking anything on him. He's a he's, he's a great guy. That like their situations work for them. And I don't want to even speak too much on that because Percy, that's not for me to like speak on. You know what I mean? But for me in my situation, I just feel like dating in this era is totally, 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 totally like different. And with that being said, because I don't think there's anything wrong with a poly relationship. I've been in a poly relationship before. But do you think that it can also be a sense of lack of discipline when it comes to wanting so many women? Because there's always going to be a woman younger, finer, smarter. It's always going to be greater. I see why you can say that and I see how it can be perceived that. But to be completely transparent with you, I think that I am more disciplined than like so many guys out there because every single day I get messaged by absolutely beautiful women from all over America and sometimes all over the world trying to shoot their shot. I have girls that just randomly send me nudes every single day. And I feel like I'm very, very, very disciplined and I have not had any type of intercourse with anybody that I'm not in a relationship. And I have like had plenty of chances if that's what I wanted to do. I feel like I'm more disciplined than like most men, period, because most men will never. And I'm not trying to say I'm all that. It's just the position that I happen to be in for whatever reason. I don't know. But the position I'm in, most men will never like get that ever. And that is a form of discipline as well. So I definitely do want to not acknowledge that. But I guess when I'm saying it, I'm saying it's discipline as for Shanice and Olivia. I have two amazing women. I feel like. I'm fulfilled. But then, like I say, as a human, we're always going to know, like, there's going to be someone cuter, younger, more far along, more mature. Like, so not necessarily you don't cheat or you don't respond to all the nudes. You know, of course, you're in a relationship. But I'm saying for is discipline or I don't want to say greed, but just like if they're going to keep flowing and they're quality women, I'm going to take them. Where did that where did that idea come from? Uh, so for me, mine's is mission oriented. Um, for me, I just think that it is going to be incredibly gravitating to have seven powerful, beautiful women that are divinely feminine, all working together and having a sisterhood. And they're like the epitome of beauty. I personally think they're going to set the standard of beauty for a whole generation. And I think they're going to be very influential. And I think we're going to use that influence for good. We're going to help a lot of single moms. We're going to help a lot of communities. We're going to build a lot of schools. We're going to help a lot of, you know, charities. We're going to do like so much good. I think it's just going to be like a force. There's nothing wrong with a one-on-one relationship, but imagine playing chess with seven queens. How powerful would you be? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be powerful, but that's a lot of energies. The yeah, two energies for, that you have for, now, it seems like at times it can be, I don't want to say it can be a lot because I'm not with you guys 24 seven, but I'm saying just two women as women, we're emotional. We're just built different. We feel different. We view different. So I just, I guess it's hard for most to fathom seven different entities that you're mixing and they also have to mix with each other on the side of introducing children as well, which is a whole nother ball game. So it just sounds, it sounds beautiful, but it does sound very something you would read in a book. <laughs> yeah, it is going to be something that you're going to read in a book. Hopefully you guys read it in history books. Okay. That's, Another that's question. 
I'm sorry, what was that? I said that's my goal. I know that's right. Um, another question that I had is that for Olivia, I know everyone says this. I hate saying this because everybody say this, girl, you know you're young, you know you look good, who cares, you know? But do you feel like as a woman, there's so much more that you can learn? And I think that's a lot of the times what people are trying to insinuate. Of course, you're beautiful, you're successful, so you do have a brain that's further than most 20-year-olds, but you do you feel like in other aspects, there's still so much that you haven't learned, you haven't experienced? Do you feel that way? Yes. Okay, because I feel like that's just the point people be making. And then, yeah. what's the other question? I feel like I had so many questions, they just leaving me. Another, I guess not a question, but just comment that I see a lot that I get where people be coming from is, let's just take it back when people address the women asking to go to the restroom, which they don't really ask, but you know, you always say that that's a courtesy to the viewers because it's a lot of people in here. And if someone wants to ask any of you guys a question, we will be able to know like, oh, they went to the restroom. But there are a lot of times where I feel like that rule doesn't apply to you. And I get you're a man, you're the center of the relationship. But sometimes I feel like when you do it, it can come off very rude. And it's like, you don't have any regard towards it. But when the women leave, it's out of respect for us. Um, I, I feel like I tell them every time I'm about to leave. Mm -hmm. It's not just thing, leaving. The thing about me, I just whisper it in their ear. I'm just like, hey. And that's just how I handle it. And then I tell both of them. So a lot of the times you guys may not like hear it. So with that being said, most of the time when they tell you, we don't hear it. So we're trying, a lot of the time people are trying to understand how is that for our benefit is when they tell you, they will spring your in or we can't it's quite just, hear that. It's just, when, just communication. Saying? It's just communication. Like, I don't know if you're like, sometimes people may ask you, it's just like a courtesy thing. Like, I, I don't know what you guys want me to say. I, I get how it can look and you guys can feel how like you want to feel, but it's literally just communication and it was just being like courteous. That's, that's all. I don't, I get where you're coming from, but I just feel like the whole net of what I'm saying is it's courtesy amongst you three, not necessarily us because we cannot hear what you whisper in each other's ear. So when you say it's for our benefit, it, it doesn't quite make sense because we weren't able to hear what you said anyway. You could have said, I would like pepperoni pizza with pineapples. We wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you know it's also, it's, it technically is courteous because when people do ask, where's Olivia at? He'll know. Instead of being, that makes we're sense. being courteous of people's time, but too okay. because like we don't want people to be like, okay, now we gotta wait for Olivia. Okay, now you know, so yeah, just right. so we're right. able to build the situation more efficiently. Okay, and then um, Shanice, I know part of your mission is obviously supporting your man, but mm -hmm. do you have your own? Um, I guess dreams, aspirations, because I know Olivia owns her company. Sean's going to save the world. Do Is there anything that you're, you know, you dreamed of doing as a little girl, something that you're dying or something that's desperately on your heart that you want to accomplish or you want to do? Retiring my mother. Um, positively impacting the world, not just, you know, my own community and uh, locally like the United States or whatnot, but also internationally. Okay, and, and was that... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, I said internationally, um, and also like generating passive income to uh, enough passive income to like, so I won't have to work. Mm -hmm. And was that something that you always wanted, or was that something where, not saying Sean influenced? Of course, your man is always going to bring out the best in you. So is that something that he kind of fueled and made more of like, okay, this is really something I want to do, or was it just already a thought in your mind? Positively impacting like as many people as possible possible has always been like a dream of mine. But in regards to um, entrepreneurship and generating like passive income, that definitely he definitely influenced that a lot. Okay. And what was your favorite part of Japan? What part were you in, if you don't mind me asking? Yokosuka. Me too. Uh, I would live there if I could speak the language fluently. Okay, I don't really have any other questions. I always 
watch and I feel like it's so much I want to say, but that's pretty much it. Um, so, have you been watching the live for a long time? Or? Yes, I have. I've been watching them, I'm not going to lie, for about three weeks. <laughs> it was very interesting. Thank like, not even so much the poly dynamic, because like I said, I've been in a poly relationship. Yeah. So, well, I guess the only confusing part is that you guys aren't in a relationship. So that could be a little different. But it's just a lot of the ideology that yeah. you guys have. What? Speaking of ideology, oh, go ahead, girl. Were you in a poly B or a poly triad? Not with y'all on, where the girls like each other, whatever that one is. Triad. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I'm bisexual, so it was, you know, different or whatever. What made it not work? Like, why is it That's not That's a great question. So what it didn't work is, like you said, a man has to be at his, if not fullest potential to do that. So the man that was leading us couldn't really lead himself. So it, it did not work. He was very all over the place. And with the woman, it was a lot of insecurities. She was one of those where Polly was never something that she envisioned. Liking women may not be something that was, you know, totally at the forefront of her mind. But because she loved him, I'm going to try it, which I feel like is the absolute not way to go if it's not something that you've already thought about by yourself do not let no man convince you to bring other women into your relationship because it just it's not going to work it's not going to flow the sisterhood the uh, 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 be you you don't think that it takes just a strong leader to like pull that off because i i don't think every man deserves a relationship much less power like i think you gotta get to a certain level of self-development so like why and i don't know the guy i'm sure he was a great guy but like why would you want to be in a relationship with somebody that can't lead themselves based off what you said are you asking me why would i yeah because i was 19 and he was like my high school sweetheart turned by the time we got into poly we were like i was like 19 just young and not knowing better not seeing enough not ex experiencing life not knowing myself as a woman not knowing exactly what a man is what he should be just not knowing just oh he said it so it sounds good like I like girls, not knowing what it actually is. I didn't even understand the fundamentals of a relationship, let alone a poly. So <laughs> that's why that was like that. So moving forward, you think your relationships in the future are going to be monogamy or poly? Um, I'm, ooh, that's a tough question. Because I'm open to both, but honestly, when it comes to bringing children into this world, I do not think I would want to bring my children into a poly dynamic. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's all I have to say, y'all. Gotcha. Thank you, Ashley. You got a business? Oh, I don't have a business. I'm still actively working on a line. But I do want to say that I do have a YouTube channel, Ashley Apollo. I have the most informational Navy videos on YouTube, hands down, on the planet. They're the most relatable, informational, non-biased. So, Ashley Apollo, if you have any questions about the military. What do you teach on the, teach on I'm sorry, what was that? What do you teach on those videos? Um, I teach anything from what to expect to boot camp, what was, I was a CS, so what CS school, CSA school is like, <laughs> what living in Japan was like. Um, if you're my pastor. I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, you was a CS, that means you can cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... Everybody know the Navy CS is the one we be cooking like that, though. We ain't really giving all that. We do what we can. We feed everybody, though. You know what I mean? Yes, I've never met a CS that was not an exceptional cook. I've never met one. What kind of ship you was on? I never was on a ship. I can't even spell ship. I can spell lip. That's about it. But I can't spell ship. <laughs> and the only reason why I can spell lip because they do right here. I just take, they just. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> But yeah, so if anybody has any questions about the military, I'm telling you, the best Navy YouTube videos out, Ashley Apollo, and I firmly say that. Ashley Apollo, okay. I love it. Thank you, Ashley. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Serena, 
Hi, you're coming on. Popping off. Oops. Olivia. My king, yes, my king. Bay Show. Coming on, Terra Bay Show. Hi. 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 I don't know how to work this. Let me so see. Let me the let me the I don't know why it's echoing me, girl. Oh, oh, there it is. Hi, you guys. Oh, wait, not yet, girl. Oh, wait, Miss, you gotta press the three dots. The three dots. I don't see it. My camera is on. You make sure you press you make save. Sure you press save. Save. Yeah. yeah. There you go. There it is. Hi, you guys. Hey. hey. So I just got a couple quick questions. I don't want to hold up any time. I want to ask Sean. So I'm an entrepreneur myself. What would you say? Um, what what advice, what's the three biggest things you would say would make, you know, to help someone that's an entrepreneur to be successful? Yeah, like the, 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 the best advice, the three best advice. Entrepreneurship is just self-development. So the number one thing you got to realize, you got to realize. All right, why is there like an echo? Oh, I think because my TV. Hold on, let me turn my TV off. Can you hear me better? Yes. Okay. What were yes. you going to say, Sean? Uh, entrepreneurship is self uh, is self development with a paycheck. Okay, so your your success will never exceed your personal development. Like success is just like something that you attract by the person that you become. Okay, success is something that you attract by. That you become. So you gotta, if you wanna do, you wanna go to another level, you gotta do sickening amounts of personal development. Unfortunately, a lot of our dreams since we're like kids get like squashed. We get belittled, we get told to be reasonable, right? Oh, right. things you gotta be realistic. All of that is like washed. Like anything that society is just blindly following is nothing, gonna be nothing but make you average. Okay? Like yeah. everything. So go to college, go to college, go to college. Right? I don't know a lot of people who went to, and I'm not bashing college. I just don't know a lot who are feel like they got their money's worth. Mm -hmm. And it's the fact we just saw a study that said 56% of Americans don't even think the college is worth it anymore. So <laughs> that's number one, right? Remember, you, you, your success will never exceed your personal development. People invest into what they believe in, right? So you got to invest into yourself. That's the number one thing. You got to learn skills. You got to learn skills. And then number three, um, the only reason why people buy stuff is two things, because it solves a problem and they love it. So you got to focus on what problem can you solve for people? That's the number one thing. When you start solving problems for people, you, you can obviously, you know, make a lot of money. With that being said, what kind of business are you looking to like start? Well, I, I actually have two stores here in Atlanta. I have a holistic store. A botanica. I do spiritual gift development. I have a tarot shop as well. So my my business is spiritual based. I do help people. That's why I do for a living. Um, I'm inside of a mall right now. I just want to take the business to the next level. Like I want to be, you know, world renowned with my business. So I definitely want to, you know, get a couple tips, you know, so that I could just expand the best way I can. Yeah, so the best way to explain it is you got to get attention. The number one people, the number one problem people have is the number one problem people have is getting 
out of obscurity. That's the number one problem for small business owners, making yourself known. TikTok is a great place to make yourself known. You have to get people. Mm -hmm. If I don't know you, I can't flow you. Right. So I would write that down. If I don't know you, I can't flow you. Um, that's okay. very, 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 very powerful. Um, you got to get attention. So that, that will be that. So you should have another thing that might help you. You have a physical location that's awesome. You need to figure out how you can make a digital product, how you can do live events, and also how can you create monthly reoccurring revenue in your business. So those things you should also think about as well. How can I create digital products? How can I create? How can I create um, live events? And how can I create monthly reoccurring revenue? Yeah, I have a question for you. Do you yes. sell like crystals? Yes, I do, Queen. Yes. What you can do is like you can do a subscription service for crystals. So every month somebody gets a new crystal. Because I, I remember when I used to collect crystals. Yeah. I always wanted to go to the crystal store, but I was like, I didn't have time. So if I had crystals like shipped to me every single month, that's a way people can build Oh my up gosh, that is awesome, Queen. Thank you for that. Because my next question was for you. So a lot of people within our community um don't have 700 credit scores so you know if they're trying to build their business they have the ein number what would you say would be the best way to start building that business credit mm. she's talking to you babe. oh talking to me i thought, yes. I thought she said... oh okay talking to me so you're talking about improving your credit score or building your credit from scratch building the business credit Oh, building the business credit. So first, before you get business credit, you have to make sure that you have good credit in general. Okay, okay. so that's what I work on first, whether that's your credit is really messed up. It's sh Invest in credit repair. Get somebody to boost that credit up. Um, in terms of building credit, I would just start with like a credit card. Like I, I got the Discover It credit card. That's a good beginner credit card. Um, but start building your personal credit because... You know, they will not approve you for great lines of credit. Like if your business is not doing like millions of dollars a year yet. Um, and the first thing they're always going to check is your personal credit. So you want to make sure you have that. On point. And you can be building as well. I, I don't do business credit, but I know a guy who has a course. Mm -hmm. This course is like 2K, but it teaches you step by step how to go out and get 50 to one hundred and fifty thousand dollars business credit teach you about your tier four tier one to tier four funding how to get your net 30 minutes step by step exactly what to do not only do you get the course but he also you also get like to talk to him directly this is somebody that's funded literally almost 500 million dollars so he really knows what he's talking about he's he's helped people get 25 million dollars he's helped people get twenty five thousand. so you get direct access to him and he also does like masterminds i know two grand is kind of a lot but like i said you guys got to invest into yourself because right. once you know how to Fifty to one hundred and fifty thousand in business credit, you can, you know, do a lot with that. You know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stuff that you can do. Start putting everything in business credit. And the beautiful thing about business credit is like you can max out business credit, and it doesn't affect your mm -hmm. personal. It's not like personal credit. So you can be very aggressive with business credit. You can buy assets. You can buy businesses. You can buy real. You can do a lot mm -hmm. with it. Obviously, you want to make sure you're making an informed decision. But I think every business owner, if they don't have their business credit on point, before they try to scale, they need to be getting like that. Uh, so if anybody wants more information on that, I can get them pointed in the right direction, even if they don't want to. Yes, I would them. definitely like that information. Just, yeah, just DM me on Instagram, uh, Short Armors Personal Instagram, has business credit, and I'll just, you know, get you pointed in like the right direction on it. Like I said, I don't do it, but like I know somebody that, that's like pretty good. So with that being said, if anybody wants information, any business owner, I highly recommend it. I know 2000 can be like a lot, but remember, you guys got to invest into yourself. Mm -hmm. And think about how cool it would be to use the bank's money to build your business instead of your own. So with that being said, if anybody wants more information on business credit, um, I think personally you guys should just DM me on Instagram, Sean Arms 13 underscore Adams. Just don't want the blue check. DM me business credit and I'll shoot you the information on that. And if I'm being completely honest with you, if y'all really want some game, I think everybody here should get an LLC in their name. Get an LLC in their name. Get an EIN develop business credit and buy everything in your LLC name and not your name. So that way you can protect yourself from lawsuits and all type of crazy stuff. Because when you separate, 
yourself from the business is totally different. Okay, so with that being said, I highly recommend everybody go start an LLC in their name. Just literally, if your name's Brittany, just go Brittany Williams, if that's your name, or Brittany Adams, or... or, or that's crazy. Just, that's my name, too. <laughs> right? So get an LLC, whatever your name is, get an EIN, and now you can go and get business credit, and you don't have to put nothing in your personal name. This is stuff I wish I knew mm -hmm. when I started, because when I first right. got started... Doing everything on my personal and, and it slowed me down a lot. That's what so I was doing. Yeah, exactly. You didn't know. So if people knew that it would be amazing. So I highly recommend, even if you don't have a business, you start an LLC in your name. And when you go buy a car, you buy it into your business name. It's still your name, but it's a business and it's not on your personal credit. So I highly, 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 highly recommend you guys do that for protection purposes. Um and, you know, I think everybody should do that. Not to mention when you have that business name, like if you're a single mom, you guys can write off 14,000. You can pay your kids an allowance, right? And yeah. or pay them an employee and you can write off $14,000 a year. Mm -hmm. right? Again, talk to your CPA. This is not tax advice. This is just yeah. a play. Talk to your CPA about that. But that is something that people can actually go and implement. And there's so much strategy that people can use that can protect them from so many things and they can get so many tax benefits. We just yeah. don't know. Mm -hmm. So I, I highly re recommend everybody invest into yourself because like if you can go out and get 50 to 150,000 in business credit anytime, it could just completely change your life. Mm -hmm. So that's just my two cents. If anybody wants more information on that, again, I don't do that. I can get you guys point in the right direction. DM me on Instagram, Sean on the Scratch business credit and I'll make sure you get pointed in the right direction on that. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's so awesome that you got a store in the mall. Any other questions that you have? No, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that yeah. a lot. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm. Good night. Royal T May, you're coming on. I like that name. Okay. What? Oh. Okay, that girl did not come on. I'm gonna have to. Okay, guys. Okay, what is going on? J. Queen Jim. Oh, we got another business woman in here. Hello. Did you hear? No fucking way. What? No! My daughter running to the phone screaming. No. Yes, you are. You're oh. here. <laughs> would not let me it's just so crazy it's so crazy how do i turn my finger on <laughs> when i turn i'm gonna okay, piss so my you... pants i'm, 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 I'm <laughs> gonna piss my pants <laughs> look at his face he's like what okay, okay so okay so this is how you turn the camera on okay wait you press like the three dots and then put the camera on and then you press save you have to press save that's what's different oh wait okay i think i can do it hold on i'm gonna cry 
You're here. Hey. How are you guys? Good. Good. How are you? You guys are so crazy. I'm so shook. So, um. Well, first of all, what's your name? Where are you from? My name's Jem. I'm from, we're from Florida. You said but, Jem? Um, yeah, just like Gemma. Yeah. What's the first time, what's the first thing you saw from us? Like, was it a video, a clip? Was it a live? Like, you said you've been watching us for a long time, so tell us. Yeah, like, I, I was, um, I swear it was y'all's live came up, um, like from, I don't know, like when you guys first started, I was watching and then I started um, watching the full lives on, um, what do you call, like the full lives on YouTube. And then I am, um, I'm literally so, there's no way. It's just so funny. <laughs> Stop. One time I was not paying attention. Y'all added me, but. Um... <gasps> Please don't tell me she gets this. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. you're good. <laughs> Okay, girl, what's your question? <laughs> you seem excited for it. So what's your question? I've been wondering from drum because I feel like I always I always like work out y'all's dynamic in my head just all the time. Cause I'm always just listening when I'm cleaning, doing my thing, whatever. I'm always just listening, trying to pick apart your guys' relationship kind of. I don't know, it's just a thing I do because I want to be a therapist or something, you know. So anyway, um, I one thing I I've been wondering is, um, let me even um, Sean, this one's just for you, if I could have your attention, sir. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? So I'm just wondering before you ever, like, what is it with the photography? Like, were you a photographer? Before, like, yeah, yeah, I love photography. It's still a hobby of mine. Okay, but my main question was kind of, is that how you started? Like, is that when you, like, you were working at the club where you met Shanice? Like, when you were a photographer? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm just wondering, because I've seen, like, I done a little dig in or whatever. But I, I always wondered, because it's just, like, I, I wonder how you can, went from doing photography and then you're just a success coach the next yeah, you know I was, I was already i was already um uh an entrepreneur as well i just do photography um just because it was just really cool because nobody knows who i am so it's just awesome it's just great to connect with like people it's great to talk to people i, I just love taking pictures of like people I, I love it it's just i don't know why i like it you know <laughs> i really. i hear you I get it, but it's just like, I feel like there's certain things you guys don't, I feel like you guys like hide certain things when you, if you could just like, I don't know, just tell the whole story. I don't know. I just feel like you're, you're kind of like vague on certain things. Just, but I feel That's like, what you're trying to say. I just feel like what, especially with your job and how you became, you know, and, and I feel like when you dig into your, you know, you say, go look at my testimonials on your account. It's like, who, what are your testimonials? They're a bunch of, you know, young, they're like 17 year old, maybe 20 year old boys who are very young. They have no, nothing to show for. None of them, they're <laughs> like, where'd okay. get, where'd you get these ages? You say what? Where'd you get these no, ages no, from? No, like honest, no, I'm just speaking from what I've seen, like with my own, whatever you want to call it. Just looking at, just, you know, what do you say? You tell everybody, look on your testimonials on your Instagram. So for me, when I looked, I find it's just like, and when, you know, all they're telling people to do is like the, the secret, they talk about getting aged LLCs and stuff, you know, like, so can you explain? No, none, of, none of them have ever said anything about an uh, aged LLC. So if you no, go look at my testimonial, he has on, if, you go, if you go and look at my testimonials, a lot of them are younger people because like, I want to inspire like the next generation. So I like working with people that are 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, just one, because I feel like I can relate more, like, actually, like, to them, and two, they are our future, so why would I not be, like, trying to empower, like, the next generation? I think they need, people need an alternative to college. I know a lot of people go to college, get a lot of debt, hold on, a lot of people go to college and get a lot of debt, and they regret it, so if we can get to people before they go to college and regret it, and, and maybe college is their route, 
But if we can show them alternative routes to success, I think that that's the most powerful thing that we can kind of do for like society, personally. Right. So with that being said, with that being said, I don't, I don't know where you get H L L C from because nobody in my testimonial even says anything about L L C in my testimonials. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what. I'll say it. I don't know what you thought, but listen. If you see if you see young kids like crushing it, and I think you said something about them not having stuff to show. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I get that you're excited. I get it, but but let's have a conversation. I, you said you said they have nothing to show for it. The thing is this: one thing about entrepreneurs. Guys, go to the OnlyFans. We don't give a fuck. Go to the OnlyFans. Go to the Instagram. If they can buy us, buy we already Anyway, Pokey X or Pokey X. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Go oh, ahead. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know why they would like say that. Just coming on our platform, saying a bunch of dumb stuff. All right. So, with that being said, guys, as far as like rushing to buy a Lamborghini and do all this stuff, you can do that. But, like, one thing you got to realize is like sacrifice is the only form of payment in the history of the world. And delayed gratification is a big thing. So, a, a lot of times people make a hundred thousand, they want to spend a hundred thousand. What you should do is try to live off as little as possible and invest most of your money. And once your passive income exceeds your earned income, at that point, you're free. That's the name of the game. That's what wealthy people do. Because you can get rich and spend a lot of money. Like, it's easy to spend a million dollars. It's easy to spend a hundred million dollars, to be completely real. But if you have assets that pay you a million dollars a year, every, every year, you're wealthy. Nobody can really, like, take that, like, away from you. It's really hard to mess that up. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's just different. Most people who are rich are not trying to like they're not really it's not about the money. They're going for freedom. And that's what I think most people want is freedom. Mm -hmm. For freedom. I don't know why they like did it. That was kind of weird. People are weird. See Marie TV You're coming on. Okay, I think it finally joined. If my connection is bad, but um, I do have a question about a uh, business, like, um. But first, Hello. I wanted to. Can y'all hear me? Can you hear? What's your name? Where are you from? My bad. <laughs> my name is Sierra. I'm from Detroit. Yes, ma'am. Michigan. Um. First, I really wanted to like applaud y'all because I feel like this was smart. Like y'all are trying to like get y'all audience from being like in a poly relationship. Y'all trying to like get, you know, views or whatever. And I think that's smart because like a way to do that is to do something that like people don't see all the time. So I think that's good. Um, a question I got is like, what? advice would y'all give to like a new business who doesn't know how to set up the LLC? Because I was trying to uh, search like websites to do a, a virtual address so that yeah I could get approved for like business funding. I, I, would, I, would, I would go and learn from somebody personally. Like for me, I feel like the biggest part, like you guys either pay with time or you pay with like money. Like you can make all your own mistakes and try to figure everything out on your own. And, look up everything on YouTube and, and, and try to figure it out and, and, and mistake your way to success. But for me, whenever I am doing something, I realize that time is the most valuable commodity. So I believe in like mentorship, whether that's paid, whether that's free, however you want to do it. I like to learn directly from people that have the success that I want. So when you are trying to get business funding, whoever you, it is that you trust, find an industry leader that you can trust, that you like their results, and like learn from them, right? It, it's just way faster. And I hope that any entrepreneur that's watching this, the number one mistake people make is not investing into themselves. You guys got to get in as many rooms as possible, okay? I like to give a lot of free game. I like to give a lot of free information, right? So, because to be honest, like my coaching, like my stuff is not really for everybody. It's for a very specific person, but I like to still help people. But you guys got to start going out there, getting into like the marketplace and, and getting like the skills. Go to seminars, hire coaches, hire mentors, literally 
all that and just learn, learn, learn as much as you can. So if you want that, I can get you pointed in like the right direction. Uh, if you kind of want to go like your own route, the best advice I can say is like find somebody who really knows what they're doing and go and learn directly from them. Because one thing about me, I don't pretend to like know what I'm talking about if I don't know what I'm talking about. I kind of like stay in like my lane, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, so yeah. go ahead. I just saw some of the comments talking about y'all getting on here being a biggest fan. I feel like a lot of viewers on here, which I don't understand is that we in a time where social media is a real career now. So I feel like it's smart that y'all came together and y'all put y'all poly relationship on social media to build your platform to build wealth. Because I think in Olivia Bio would say something about building wealth through um, social media or something like that. That's smart. <laughs> I feel like half y'all in these comments, y'all need to do the same thing. Y'all need to get on social media. Y'all need to start posting because this income is like big. Like it's a really big thing. And y'all do it anyway. Your boyfriend, he probably dating X, Y, and Z anyways. So y'all might as well all come together and get on live every night and build your platform so y'all can build income. It's the bad um, these people. I think, there's a, uh, I think it's there's smart. A I think there's a lot of poly relationships um and I, I feel like people can do that but like we didn't do this to like make money like we, we don't like ask people for like money like we genuinely just want to like help people and then for us like we want to like genuinely just like change the conversations like i know people i feel like that's not true because breaking it in from lives but that's just literally not true I feel like that's not true because y'all do say that y'all made this platform to give people business advice but the big thing on your live says, would you be in a poly relationship? It doesn't say young professional women, do you have a business? Young people, do you have a business? So y'all know where y'all trying to put the attention, which again, I said is smart because it's controversial. So it gets the people going, it gets the people in. But what I'm saying is, no, y'all are not just here to give business advice because that's what is right there. It says we give, we give advice on relationships. If people want that, we give advice on friendships. We give advice on life. We give advice on everything. So mm -hmm. makes sense. But that's all I had. That's all I had okay. to say. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Royalty May, I'm trying to bring you on. Let's get the million likes! Double tap that screen, y'all. Double tap, double tap, double tap. Double tap. Let's get to a million likes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a million likes. A million likes. Double tap the screen. We'll bring on the next guest. Let me look and see who the next guest is. Okay, we got her. We got her. A million likes. We have a lot of people in that. Okay, we got some interesting people. Let's get this to a million likes so we can bring them on. Because. Let's bring people on. Let's bring it on. We got some baddies in here. Ooh. 
Ooh, we got wrappers in here. Okay. We're a hundred thousand away from a million likes. This rocket, nice. A million likes, we're almost there. Go double tap the screen, we're at 981, 985, 991, thank y'all for bringing us this far. One million, I appreciate y'all. One milli, we got one milli. Okay, I'm about to bring somebody on. Royalty May, you coming on. Hello? Hello? Royalty Hello. May. Hey, can you turn your camera on? Yes. Hi. Okay. I just sent it. Alright, I'm in bed right now, but I just got a few questions. Oh. What's your wait? What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Royalty. I'm from Philly. Wait, you're kind of muffled. I think you're like your speakers on cheese or something. Can y'all hear me now? Better. That's better. Okay, I'm Royalty. I'm from Philly. I just got a couple of questions. Wait, sorry, <laughs> I didn't get the name. Today. Royalty. Royalty. I love that. Her name yeah. is Royalty. Okay, Sean. You were just up here talking about um freedom, you know, and that just that 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 baffled me because the two girls beside you they're not free. According to who? According to the live, like I could, I just I'd be sitting back watching the live, watching your body language, and so we're not free because of body language. It speaks a For lot. Sure. Not even just that. Um, I want to know. I want to know, how is this a poly relationship okay. when the two girls aren't attracted to each other? It's given Sean, you're cheating it's in the, Olivia's the, face. You said it's given who? Sean, you're cheating in Olivia's and in, in, in Shanice's face. Okay. I'm with you. So, with that being said, poly just means many. Meaning more than one. And there's more than one woman in this it's, relationship. I'm going to let you talk. So, because there's more than one woman in this relationship, is more than a one-on-one -on -one relationship. Therefore, by the dictionary definition, is poly. Um, I feel like poly have a deeper relationship than that. Is I'd rather say they got an open relationship, but we're not so we're not, open not that open we don't talk to any other guys. Okay, Sean, you said that. Um, you said for, for people to DM you and text you free game for you to put them on, right? Yes. Give people actual strategies that they can take and use to, like, implement in their business, in their life. So, yes. Right. I text you free game, and you basically told me to go to the bank and get a loan. Okay. For what? What are the two? There's two strategies that I give. A, a loan for what? My credit. No, Which see, that's my. Knew. Could you, could you, could you just, could you just listen? Like most people, if they're gonna start a business, they're gonna need a business loan. Like they're gonna need a business to start a business. You either need it, especially if it's passive. You need either a lot of money. Now you can either use your money or you can use the bank's money. If somebody wants to start something, it's fifty thousand dollars. Do you think it's easier for most of them to use their own money or the bank's money? their own it's easier how many people have fifty thousand dollars saved up i mean what, you, what percentage of america has that saved up 
probably a lot. See, oh, a lot. Okay. Are you forty six percent? Wait, 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 wait. Olivia, can you get into the camera? Forty six percent of Americans don't even have a thousand dollars for an emergency. Seventy six percent of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. Mm -hmm. And I think it's so funny how y'all will go and finance a car, but you won't finance something that will help pay you ten to fifteen thousand a month. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. You'll go pay fifty thousand for a car, but you won't pay fifty thousand dollars for a business or fifty thousand dollars for some real estate that'll change your life. Make it make sense. You'll go pay fifty thousand dollars for a college education to make forty thousand a year, but you won't go and pay fifty thousand dollars for something that'll pay you ten to fifteen thousand a month. That's crazy to me. So again, people can kind of do what they want to do in different strokes for different folks, but like let's not get it confused. You have legitimate strategy that you can go and take and implement to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. And for most people, if they're spending fifty thousand dollars, I think it'd be easier for them to use the bank's money versus saving up fifty thousand dollars. And most people, even if they have fifty thousand dollars, they still are going to want to use the bank's money. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. See, you like flipping shit. No, I like telling the truth. No, you like flipping shit. And I, you I know, know that from watching these lives. Coming up with silly narratives. No, What's the like biggest the business you've stuff. ever? Biggest business you've ever built? What's the what? What's the biggest business you've ever built? I'm actually in the process of building a business right. with my sister. You're in the process. What's the most amount of money you've made in a year? Over $50,000. All right. Congratulations. Some people never achieve that, but you've yet to touch six figures. So what do you know about making six figures? I want to know what do you know about making six figures in your All right. Your, well, like... This is what I know. This is what I know about making six six figures. The, one of the most influential billionaires literally put me in one of his marketing campaigns talking about how he took me from making two hundred and fifty thousand a year to over one point three million a year. So a billionaire is literally sending me using me as a case study, as an example for hundreds of thousands of people to see. I think I know a thing or two. If I can make a couple million, I think I know a thing or two about teaching somebody how to make ten thousand dollars versus somebody with no disrespect. I'm not attacking you, but I'm saying you you're speaking on it and you haven't even made ten thousand dollars in a month yet. It doesn't make sense. And the crazy thing is, the crazy thing is, bro, none of us ask you for anything. This is just free information. It's free strategy. And you still have something to say about it. I can sit up here and see if I like charge you ten thousand dollars for that information and you feel dissatisfied. Bro, it's free information and you're still upset. Please make it make sense. Like, I'm not upset. I'm just trying to figure out where does the help actually comes in. Because right. when I text you free game, you're you're replying with something that I already so what were about. You, what were you kind of it says free game, not free make free. Hey, I'm going to change like your life. It's like mm -hmm. hey, this will get you pointed in the right direction. If it's something that you feel like can work for you, you got to go and figure that out. You got to go and execute it. But now you got to play it. It's up to you to execute it. So that's the whole thing. Like, what, what what do you feel like the expectations should be? Like, it should be like, oh, free game and I snap my fingers and make you a millionaire? Is that how it's no, supposed to work? No, when you sit here and you're telling people, oh, yeah, DM me, free game for some information, I'm expecting you to tell me some shit that I didn't know. All right. Well, clearly you watched the video and you still don't know. So with that being said, like, maybe you should go and like rewatch it with all due respect. Oh, I watched all the videos. That's what I'm saying. I sit back and I watch. And it's like, the man's not mathing. Olivia, can you get in the camera? Listen, man, do you have another question? Because honestly, like, you're not even in the camera. And you're telling her to get in the camera. Come on, man. Sean, you so sassy. Why are you so sassy? I'm sitting here trying to ask person, questions. I'm trying to ask questions. questions. Why you got to be so sassy? Why you got to be so sassy? Yeah. You're about to play the Undertaker music now. You gotta be so sassy every time. I'm just trying to get to the, like. No, you're not. You're just no, trying to like, no. like you're just you're just trying to like. I don't know what you're trying to do. You're just trying to like spread like negativity. Like there's nothing positive. Not, I'm trying to get to the bottom of the questions that I have for myself. That's not negativity. If you see it as negativity, then all right. I yeah. want to know why these two females call you king. First of all, they're not females. They're my queen. So give them the respect that they deserve when you address them. They're females. What the hell? This is belief. You want me to call the king? <laughs> oh, gosh. So 
with that being said, for those of you guys that actually want strategies for you to go and implement, I literally give you guys strategies where you guys can oftentimes use very little to like none of your own money to go and start a business to make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. If you got a seven hundred plus credit score and that actually sounds interesting to you, you want to actually figure out like, hey, how can I make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month? Uh, I want you to go ahead and DM me if you got a seven hundred plus credit score. DM me free game. It is legit strategies. Guys, I got nothing to sell you. I'm never going to ask you for your credit card. I'm never going to ask you for money. I'm just here to give you legit strategies that you can go and take and implement into your life so that you can make ten to 15000 a month, whether it's you want to quit your job, whether it's you want to get out of the military, whether it's you want to like send your kids to private school, you want to like take care of your parents, whatever it is, whatever problem you're looking to solve, we're here to give you guys legitimate strategy. Uh, I don't claim to be a guy that's got it all figured out. I, I'm just... A little bit further on my path than like you can know kind of most people and I'm here to give you guys actual strategy that you guys can take and improve your life so anybody that's really serious and highly motivated they're like really looking you know to learn strategies hey man how can I improve my life step by step um, DM me on Instagram if you got a 700 plus credit score DM me on Instagram free game and I will literally teach you for free how to go out and make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month so with that being said, I really, really, really appreciate you guys. Appreciate the questions. You guys can ask anything you want. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, you know, keep it respectful. Keep it polite. So with that being said, let's uh, we're bringing somebody else up here. Who's this? I don't know who that is, but you just point. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, but that's what I want. Sure. Mm -hmm. what yes, we can. Just look at the uh, bio, so. Yes, we can. Hello. How y'all doing? Hold on, let me cut the camera off. Wait a minute. Okay. How y'all doing? Feeling good. Good, good. Wait a minute. It's my us. Everything's just going slow. Wait a minute. I'm trying to make sure everything is going good. Wait a minute. It's still trying to come through. No, no, no. You're good. We can we can see you and hear you. All right. Oh, oh, all right. All right. Oh, so um, my name is Torn. Hello, hi. Um, hi. I'm from Alabama. Thank you. Let's get to the real stuff. Shanice, Shanice, I want to ask you a question. Are you happy in this whole poly relationship, whatever it's called, poly relationship, something, something like that, that sort? Are you happy? Yes, I am. You, you, you don't look happy, Shanice, because you like that. You got that face on. I love you now. I love you because I be watching the little clips and whatnot, and you be having that face on like. I just wish I could just get up out of him because I don't want to be around that. Look, you look tired. You look, you see, you, did you agree? Oh, well, I've been up since four this morning, but um, in regards to my resting phase, that's something I, I have to work on. But yes, I am happy. No, I'm talking about you just tired of all of this. I, I'm talking about the resting phase. You, that's, the sleep is good. I'm just saying you can getting tired of all of this. No. Like you, so you are tired of all this, this whole little relationship, the baffle and all this. Okay, okay. The next question, I want to ask this next question because um, I had watched the video and you had said your king. He asked, or somebody asked you about your king or something. You said Jesus, so I wanted to know is Jesus is really your king, right? You didn't even say Jesus. You said God. But go ahead. I didn't. I didn't. Did not, I ain't asked you no question. I ain't asked yeah, you nothing. Gonna, I was talking to Shanice. 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 Thank you. Now, Shanice, you you see Jesus is your king. I was talking to Shanice. See, you see, you interrupted. You interrupted. I wasn't talking to you. When I called for you, then you answered. Yeah. But until I call, you, you be quiet. Thank you. When I call on you, then you answer. When I call on you, then you answer. I answer whenever I want to. Yeah. How you doing, Olivia? How you doing, Olivia? Is your name Olivia? How you doing, Olivia? Who's a? Oh uh, yeah, I'm Olivia. Well, yes, Olivia. I'm doing. <laughs> oh yeah. How, I, I said, how you doing? You doing good? What? Was something funny? He he ha 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 ha. It's something. Uh, like I said, Olivia. How I'm you like, doing, oh, Olivia? I'm doing good. I'm doing, you doing good. good. Come on, get in the camera. Come on, get in the camera. Get in the camera. Cause cause you cause you probably about to touch some little buttons and try to get me off of him. 
Get me. Come, come on, Lily. Come on, scoot on. Get in. Scoot in. Okay, wait. Big do you happy have a family. Come on. <laughs> Oh, do you have a question? Because what you're not gonna do is like. Do I have? I'm about to ask you a question. I want you to get in the camera. I look, don't, look, I look, look, look him. Look, look. Olive oil, olive oil. I need you to get in the camera, olive oil. Come on. I need you to get in the camera, olive oil. It's okay. I like that name, but. <laughs> you know what, y'all, y'all, y'all. No, but I don't need. I don't need to be in the camera to answer your question. Um, and do you have a question? Because there's like 99 people in here and we want to give them a chance. Oh, they are? Mm -hmm. Divine goddess. Did she come on already? I think she like tried it. Hello, Divine Goddess. Hey, y'all. Come on I made, already, girl. Hey, y'all. I made it back. Y'all added me last night, but I fell asleep. Oh. Oh, I think that's what happened. Gotcha. Yes, okay. I was super tired. Um, gotcha. What's your name? Where are you from? My name is Aubrey, and I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I was already added before. Gotcha. Okay. So, I have so many questions because I wrote them down this time. Um, where do I want to start? Hmm. Okay, so Shanice, um, there was a video that I saw with you, like, in the bathroom doing your makeup or something like that, and Olivia kind of, like, came in and was like, hi, hello, <laughs> and you was like, what's fine? And you kind of, like, bust out laughing when she left, like, what was that about? Yeah, um, I thought, like, I was waiting for her to ask me for something usually like that's what I'm usually when Olivia comes to me I'm I'm used to her like asking me a question or asking me for something so I was waiting but she was there to say hello to the live and that was um I don't know I guess I would say odd <laughs> It was because I watch it like every day and I just laugh because it was like funny and I see why you was laughing, but I get it. Um, okay, Sean, uh, I want to know because I remember you said that you was doing the college thing for the kids or whatever, but they had to pick like a number one through <laughs> through 2000. Like, yeah. did someone ever win that? Yeah, well, somebody won that and I told her she has to come on the live. So that way we do it in front of everybody. Yep. What what's her name? Do she have TikTok? Dude, I don't. I I honestly, I because that's gonna something sound, major. I, like that's something I, major. I flagged in my in my DMs, but I know this: if she don't get in contact with me and claim this by this Friday, we're gonna be doing it again. Somebody else gonna win. I know that's right. Period. But I think you should do it on live. Y'all sit on live long enough. I agree. Actually, we talked about that. That's actually a really good point. So we actually gonna be switching up how we do the giveaways um, when it comes to that. But yes, we actually uh, got a game plan. So from now, at least for the college one, we're gonna be doing that actually on live. For the right. single mom one, still gonna be via Instagram. Yeah. So um, I know you said it's like every month. Did someone win last month with the single moms? Yeah. Oh, what's her ad? Do she have? Because I know, like I said, that is something major. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you helping oh, the I'll, way rent set up. A video on my stuff um, and post a like a like a testimonials like page or like a like a giveaway giveaway winners. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll make it a highlight on my Instagram. <laughs> you guys can kind of like keep up with that. Right, right. Okay, yeah, I like that idea. Know, especially with you I being like a. Screen. I showed the video and I showed the receipts of the cash app on somebody's live. I forget who it was, but I showed it on their live. Yeah, I, I know. I know what you talk about with the cash app. I don't see that before, but I'm talking about like the real deal, like that cash app. That's that's minor. We talking about you sending kids to college and you doing uh, you paying rent. Like that's something that you should have plastered. Like you know what I'm saying, so people can at least Not try to believe you a little bit. I mean, I, honestly, I feel like there's like a lot of evidence. People choose to believe what they like. One of them, you know what I mean, like. Just like that. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay, so Olivia. Because like the last business owner we had up here, they was like, oh, you pay her to like say that. 
they were like hitting her up saying, you paid her to say that. Yeah. Like, even when I post these people, they're still just going to be like, you paid her to say that. It's an act. She's an actor. She's a pay. Like, people always have something to say. So that's all. Yeah, I mean, bad publicity is good publicity if you ask me. But anywho. So, Olivia, so I heard one night when uh, Sean was on live and uh, they was asking <laughs> about like, Y'all was on live with somebody else and the lady was asked, like, do y'all like get paid for this or whatever? And y'all was like, no, we don't even know how to check it. So Olivia checked it or whatever. And I mean, you know, I could kind of like barely hear out my left ear, so I could be wrong. But I thought Olivia said in the balance there was hundred dollars. And Sean, you was like, oh, there's a thousand dollars. So like, which one was it? It was like over a thousand dollars. I think you just heard a portion of the number. Oh, it's over. 1,100 and some change. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. And so with the money, like, do y'all split the money like three ways when y'all, because all three of y'all are on live, or do y'all go like a day, you know, day by day? Do we split a thousand dollars three ways? No, I didn't. No, 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 no. Sean, calm down. I did not ask, do y'all split a thousand dollars? I said, do y'all split the money? Y'all go live every single day. <laughs> Oh y'all go live every day so therefore the money okay so who's spending the money where the money going is it just sitting there like racking up <laughs> y'all laughing answer the question bro the fact that y'all think we literally look at the money from tiktok lives is so funny <laughs> <laughs> no it's funny because y'all know y'all look at it there's three ways <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. I, I like I like the way you do that though. So <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Shanice, I know it. No, he's just I'm now he's see her. I'm with you. Us like depositing the money and be like, hey, let's split it three ways. I guess it's about to right now. <laughs> like us doing that and spending our time. Okay, so Good. Okay, okay, so instead of laughing, educate me. What are y'all with the funds that's in y'all TikTok Bro, account? Taking a deposit from TikTok Live. We're supposed to Say be it doing again, a I didn't hear you. We're supposed to be doing a giveaway this we're supposed to be doing a giveaway this week and actually giving that thousand dollars away. Oh, okay. So when y'all gonna do that giveaway? <laughs> Supposed to be going live with somebody. I believe we're doing it this Friday. Yes, supposed to be going live with somebody this Friday, so we can actually do a challenge and we're gonna like you know donate all that. Okay. Oh yeah, I got another question before I get to the business questions. So I see another clip where a girl she was like in the video with all three of y'all, and she was like y'all was supposed to do like a podcast with her, but y'all kind of like stood her up. What? Why y'all stood her up? Like what was up with that? Bruh. I mean, what do you call stood up? I mean, whatever she calls stood up, y'all didn't show up for the podcast, so, basically. Like anybody that says anything, here's exactly what happened on that. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I remember like it was yesterday. So I was having like lunch with somebody. And I was like, <laughs> Hold on. Now, why you said you remember like it was yesterday? Because I remember like it was yesterday. So <laughs> it was, it, uh, I was having lunch with somebody. I was in the middle of things. I had an important meeting going on. And she wanted to get there an hour early. Cool, I respect it. We live right by the Padre Stadium, so on this particular day, it was a game day. So I guess it was fifty-five dollars to park. And for some whatever reason, you know, we all have different situations. Mm -hmm. here. But for some reason, instead of paying the parking, they decided to like try to figure out an alternative solution. But all of downtown is going to be like just jamming. Padres, like it's the Padres. They're playing. It's a game. It's an event. So she called me like 30 minutes later and was just like, no, no, no. Um, saying that like she couldn't, I offered to pay for parking. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't communicate clear enough. Um, and she did not understood that I was willing to pay for parking for her and her videographer. She did not understand. So, she did not understand. Did, that's my fault. I take full responsibility for my lack of communication there. Cause if I if I'm trying to say something, it's my it's my responsibility to make like to get my point across. So with that being said, um, 
the $55 parking thing, she pretty much called me and was like, I don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth. Uh, and they decided to like leave. And I was like, okay. That was it. She called me and said that today wouldn't be a good day and that like she didn't want to like do it. So that was that. That's how it would go. I didn't flake. I would never like. Are y'all going to reschedule? Like no, absolutely not. But we did right. get offered. Are y'all going to reschedule? We did get two bigger podcast offers. One, uh, this podcast, I don't want to say who, what it is, but this podcast and this like influencer has over a million followers. And then we also got one of the biggest shows like that's out there to like do a podcast as well. So I tried to give like, you know, the little guy or the little girl in France and not to disrespect her, but you know, like, hey, this is somebody that's trying, that's up on the up and coming and it just didn't work. And it, it clearly shows you that like the, the truth is people don't invest in their business. Like if $55 is going to stop you from doing something that's going to like take you, take your business to the next level, then it shows you just have a severe lack of like commitment, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I just feel like if, if, if people will let $55 stop them from whatever it may be, then like that's wild. Like you got to learn to like figure out like a way. And I think often in life, when you guys are going towards something, you're driving on the road to success, there's going to be tree branches that just like fall in your way. You can either turn around and go back home and say, this isn't for me, or you can get out your car. Oh, you can jump property. And keep going. Yeah, exactly. And keep going. And I think that that's something that's like really mm -hmm. lacking. It's like removing the okay. tree branch and pushing forward. Right. Okay. So if y'all are not going to do the podcast, what about just, you know how y'all invite people on y'all live? Y'all could just add her to y'all live one night, you know, that it kind of like help her out too, if you're absolutely trying to help someone. Zero, I, I have absolutely zero interest in adding somebody to my live or like letting them get clout or whatever off my name. When I open up my home to somebody multiple times, give them advice, like take time out of my day to do everything. And then they decide to cancel and then kind of like drag me through social media to me i mean i don't think that's the best thing to do i don't think that's the best way to run mm -hmm. i don't know I'm not i'm not i'm not really here to judge i just don't think that people that do like that are gonna one get very far with that mindset and two i'm just not interested in people that like work like that or operate like that so i'm just i have zero interest she had her shot the podcast would have done millions of views and she just you know decided not to do it Okay. Literally, as soon as she was messaging me that, we got two other podcast offers. Like, it's kind of crazy. So that's, that's divine timing right there. Look at that. Something yeah. ain't work out in two more. Okay. Yeah. I'll follow you. I'll follow you. Um, question, because I have a business myself. I am an entrepreneur. I'm sure y'all have went through my Instagram. I mean, not my Instagram, but my TikTok. And y'all have seen that. Um, I make all natural products, all natural feminine care products. Um, like when women, like, you know, they use Summer's Eve and things like that. I sell things just like that without the chemicals involved. Um, and I hear you talk business a lot. And, you know, some of the stuff when people feel like you're not like really giving them free game, I can kind of like understand why. Because a lot of this stuff, I'm not going to say it's on YouTube, but I have paid for marketing classes because I have been a person who really didn't like getting on camera or whatever. But taking these marketing classes, like everything you say, like I know, you know what I'm saying? And that's just from taking like different, you know, marketing classes or whatever, um, reading ebooks and things like that. So I feel like when you say DM me, I'm giving you free game. A lot of this stuff like we learned in our marketing classes, you know what I'm saying? So a lot of people be like, OK, well, yeah, you could get on YouTube and find this out because it's like so known. Now, everybody say the same thing. All these bits, all these people say they're business coaches when they take a marketing class or take a mentor class. And now they want to call themselves a business coach. You know what I'm saying? OK, so let me get this straight. One of the most like I, and I know you may not be attacking me right now, but like if you go look. No, I'm not. Story, I know, I know, but if you go look at my story, you'll see one of the most famous billionaires sending out an email blast to lots of people and multiple people hitting me up saying that, hey, this Grant Cardone guy like had you as like a case study. So I have his actual stamp of approval as a 10x certified like success coach and people like still have something to say when I have nothing to sell you guys and I'm just giving you guys free information. Why does that offend? Okay, I understand that. Right, I, I understand. Um, I actually looked into Grant as well when I was like trying to like get my business up and running. Now I feel like I'm in a good space. I make 
ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month doing what I do. Um, but like I said, it's kind of like so known. So yeah, people is gonna feel like you know you saying the same thing that everybody else is saying. Okay, with you saying I never asked y'all for a dollar. How do you make your money? How do you make money if you're not asking I, nobody for anything? I, I, this is a great question. I actually help people build companies. I partner How? with people and help build really big companies, like and create. Can you can you name me like two or three companies that you have I helped build? I'm not gonna like do that. Go look at like my testimonials. Like, just go look at if you guys, if anybody here has any doubt that I'm legit, I want you to give me just one favor. Go on my Instagram, Sean underscore Tino Stratums. It's the one with the blue check. Look at my lifestyle. Look at the highlight that says lifestyle. And then I also want you to look at the highlight that says testimonials. If you have any ounce of doubt after that, <laughs> listen to me again. If you guys have any ounce of doubt going through and looking at that, you will see stuff that I've been doing this for over two <laughs> years. If you have any ounce of doubt in your Sean, home, they said they ain't looking at nothing. They don't want to see that. <laughs> don't ever listen, don't ever me again and you want to know the crazy thing about this bro you guys are like getting so upset about somebody that's never tried to ask you guys for a single dime why do you guys get so i upset? don't say these people be like, upset come on we don't even know you, you we can't be mad I mean, what you're doing right now low-key it's just hating like haters are loud but success you said is what i'm you say i'm hating yes you are this is not a constructive <laughs> this is not like, it's not a constructive conversation <laughs> I feel like you're just, no, trying, you, I don't know what you're trying to do, but you're, I, I feel like you're trying to like invalidate, you know, me or like my opinion or anything. I'm not invalid. How, see, this is the thing you're, you take it so personal. You got, as a businessman, you should know how to separate the two. Okay. Let me tell you something. I run a business and no matter what someone say, if I know I have a good product and I know I, I offer good customer service, no one can say anything about me. I have not only testimonies, but I have like reviews and people who can actually vouch for me. As long as you have that, why do you care what people say? And if you care so much, why are you sitting up and saying, you, but Sean, listen, can you listen? I let you talk. I never interrupted you. Okay, let me okay. talk. Just like you said, people take everything. Uh, we, well, we get mad or whatever, but you, you're the one that gets mad. You're the one that take things personal. You set up here and said Shanice lives for social media. No, you live for social media because if you didn't care what nobody said about you, you would get on live, you would do what you do and you would get off. You sit up here, you get upset, you boot people, you hang up on people. You're always mad. We don't be mad. We don't even know you. Once I get off this app, I'm going to go to sleep like I do every other night. So it's just like you open us up to this window to ask you questions when we ask questions you get mad at it you try to say we mad we not mad okay yeah and then you do like this little shutting down thing which is cool i get it you know when you don't really have an answer you kind of shut down and it's okay but i don't, I don't shut I feel like when i talk i know when it's my turn to talk because when i talk to you guys be like i'm still talking so i just want to make sure you guys go ahead and like get it all out yeah, I just had to tell you that because you interrupted me while I was talking. I never interrupted you. I don't do things like that. As a business owner, I I literally know how to run my business and I know how to handle situations. And for you to be a businessman or a business coach, I really just can't tell. How many employees you got? I'm the only employee. You could go look at right, I have a website, www.naturalway.so. Tell, tell me the big mega, mega business that has one employee. Uh, my business. All right. <laughs> Very exactly. much so. Go, go, go. Look. No, 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 no. Listen, Sean, listen. There's a big dip. Like, come on, stop. Like, this is the thing. You guys Sean. gotta like sit here, come up here, and pump yourself up. You're a you're a business owner, and that's awesome for you. But who are you like helping? What opportunities are you creating for like people? And I'm not who here. Who am I helping? You. I'm just telling you. No, I understand. You're I get it chase your potential because if you have that talent you can create opportunities for other people and instead of focusing on how you can help more people you want to come up here and try to tell me why i'm wrong for giving out free information I, on, I never man. told you you was wrong but but okay let me answer your questions you said um what major business have one employee I am my own business on I, I am my own business on I am my own employee. I help other women who suffer from PCOS, who has fibroid issues. Um, I actually offer wholesale, so therefore I help other women scale their black owned business. 
So yes, I am out helping people. I know so how why to don't get you, people. Why don't you help more people? Nobody, listen, you got a great mission. You got, you got, you're clearly intelligent. You're clearly successful. What I'm telling you is why don't you start, start thinking, hey, how can I make 10 to 15,000 a day? And how can I create an organization that's so big, that's booming with influence that I can actually hire people, I can put people on, and I can get my message out to more people? Listen, you got, you got ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month, and now you're feeling like, oh, I made it. But what about the more people that actually help you? What about the people that need opportunities? What about the people that actually need jobs? Right? You and this is what I'm saying. You guys think so small, and it's nothing wrong with what you're doing, but it's just like, why don't you use your actual potential? Because I'm, I personally, I'm, I'm deaf. Let me hey, tell you something. Cool, but you go to ten to fifteen thousand a week, and then go to ten to fifteen thousand a day. And and if you're hustling that hard to go to ten to fifteen thousand dollars a day, you don't have time to hate on somebody else because you're so busy hustling, helping people. I'm here spreading my message about positivity, about taking care of your community, about taking care of the church. And you guys do nothing but sit up here and try to discredit me. Well, where's the receipts to show that you helped a single mom? Well, where's this? Well, where's this? Well, where's this? Dude, we never ask you for a dime. We do tons of giveaways every single week. Like. You guys get, I don't understand why you guys get so upset. Only a, go, only a person, go, only a person. Get your message out into the marketplace and helping more people. That's what you guys should be doing. I, listen, listen, I'm not upset and I'm letting you talk, but at the end of the day, uh, only the people who don't have receipts for the things that they say get upset. That's what I assume. I would never, if someone was to come on here and tell me I don't make the type I make I wouldn't get upset guess what I would do I would go right to my Shopify store and show them I, I really do this for real I don't work a job I haven't worked a job in over two years trust me yeah. it gets the job done you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. so for you to sit up here and say I'm not helping anyone I have real deal testimonies from people who I don't even know I really help women I help women who suffer from <laughs> all types of uh, fertility issues you know what I'm saying so for you to sit up here and act like what I'm not doing is great uh, no you're wrong and I'm still not mad because as you're speaking I'm getting orders right now you know my business is very successful hold on, hold on. I said the exact opposite I said you have a great message I said you're very talented what I said but is you said I'm sitting up I here no, 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 no. And said, you think I'm doing something by making ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month? Like this? I said you to focus on helping more people. And while we're sitting here talking, I am from Virginia. I trust my. Thank you so much, Sean. I I don't care to see her, Sean. You're talking. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, God bless you guys. I <laughs> did not think this was gonna happen, but it is. I Honestly, God bless you guys and keep on what you're doing. That was really, really nice of you to do that. Thank All you. right. So with that being said, hold on. And we have we have business owners. We can continue, <laughs> continue, continue doing this. But just because I don't I post didn't it, have really to do all of that. Like people will go to my website and see my reviews. It's just that simple. That's how you kill people. You don't have to stand with no camera in nobody's face to try to show them something. All right. So Lacey, this is what I'm saying. I, you say I should show receipts and then I don't show receipts. It's a problem. I show you receipts and it's still a problem. This is my point. No matter what we do, you guys are going to have something to say. This is why I don't entertain you all. You, I don't show you receipts. It's a problem. I show you receipts. You still got a problem. That's exactly my point. Everything that we do, you got, you, it's just hate. Listen, you are a powerful you, woman. You are smart. You, you are intelligent. Thank you so much. <laughs> your voice you should focus on how can you go out and help other people not sitting here having this conversation because this isn't going to help anybody 47 i close my business down at eight o'clock at night where honey can, where can we where can we find your business you can like, find shot, my business I'm on TikTok. Um, I have over like 30 something thousand followers. Um, I'm on Instagram at a natural weight underscore. My website is www.naturalwaysoap.com. I am now right now I'm having a sale buy one get one 50% off all your natural feminine care products. I also sell um, teas and herbs and things like that. Um, I also the sell first, first things. Go in places of order. I will pay for the order, but go pay, go to her website, buy something. I will, I a screenshot it to me that you bought it. I will literally cash at you. We want to support her business. All right. Support first person my black owned business. Yes. 
And yes, y'all are going to love y'all products when y'all get them. I have I have had over 10 orders just come through the phone since we've been on live. But I didn't come on here to bash you. I came on here to ask questions. I am a, a real person. My reviews are real. Um, I ship worldwide. Ma'am, could, could you shout out your business again so people know where to go? You can find me on Instagram at a natural way underscore. You can also click my TikTok. Um, my website is www.naturalwaysoap. My name, I really can't pronounce her name, but someone just placed the order. I don't know how to like show it to you, but. Send it to me. I, I, I'm going to cash up them and pay for the order because we want to support businesses out here. I really wish Divine Goddess, I could hear the beauty in your voice. I don't know what you look like. I can tell you a beautiful person, a beautiful spirit. I you wish think, you I know you're going to see my TikTok. You know what I look like. I, I wish you would focus more on helping people rather than trying to but like have this non-supportive like energy. You know what I mean? I show you receipts, it's a problem. I don't show you receipts, it's a problem. I, I, I'm don't make you feel like I'm not, I'm not I a problem. We I mean, that I'm a problem. I, you know I'm not a problem. I wish we would focus on how we can unite and make each other better rather than trying to invalidate each other. So the only thing I'm going to do is support your business because I believe in it. I believe in you. And I hope that you go from making 10 to 15,000 a, a, a month to making 10 to 15,000 a day. I sincerely hope you do it because I know you got the potential and I, 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 it's up to you to go and execute that. So I'm already said, doing that. I I, I, just, this is my downtime. I'm let's in get, bed. Let's get that. He want me off, y'all. I will so, see y'all later. Thank you. All right. So with that being said, baby, we got time for one more. All right. You guys, if you guys purchase, if you guys support it, we appreciate you guys, the supporters, man, the positive people. You guys make the world go round. Please make sure you guys send me. Um, who the heck is calling me? That's weird. Please make sure you guys send me the receipt, a picture of the receipt. First person that I see, I'm just going to choose one random person. I'm going to go ahead and cash up you and pay for that word. King Ashley Ann, you're coming up. Who? You know what? On the matter, as a matter of fact, listen, man, that's all for tonight. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. Listen, man, well, we appreciate the conversations, guys. We want to help you all. Mm -hmm. All right. So all those that support it, we appreciate that. If you guys want free game, free strategy to let, go and make ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month, if you got a seven hundred plus credit score, DM me on Instagram. Free game. I right, DM me on Instagram. Sean underscore T underscore. I know just the one with the blue check. All right, make sure you follow Shanice on Instagram, follow Olivia on Ooh. Instagram. If you find value in the information that I give you, I appreciate a follow too. Uh, with that being said, DM me on free, free game if you got a 700 plus credit score, you want to learn to make 10 to 15,000 a month. Um, and for my guys out there, listen, man, you want to have super massive success in your life and go to making 10 to 15,000 a week. If you got a 700 plus credit score, DM me on Instagram, Sean underscore Chino Scratch, then you mentor. And I'll personally reach out to you and see if my mentorship's a great fit. Peace, guys. We appreciate you guys. We love you so much. Have a great night. Peace.